Oh my god, I didn't see you there. <laughs> it's just reading a book, uh, which I can do. I can read. It hasn't been quarantined for that long. I could definitely know how to still read. Um, my name's Nicole Boyce. I always worked on Cameo. Joanna, hello, this is for you. I forgot to address. This is for Joanna from um, a man by the name of Filthy Rich. Heard you guys are having some nickname drama and apparently filthy rich wants to go by filthy rich but you think it should be called healthy rich and joanna prefers jojo but sloppy joe is also in consideration um i gotta say filthy rich it's got a nice ring to it um there's something just kind of crazy about that especially in these quarantine times you know i'm filthy you know right now i haven't taken a shower in months um, sloppy Joe, I think, definitely goes with Filthy Rich. I mean, if we're looking sloppy and filthy, those are kind of, that's a nice pairing, I would say. But Jojo, I mean, there's a nice succinctness to that that I think is also, that's kind of like fun. So if, you know, he's, if you're Filthy Rich, then we have a, like a fun Jojo. But then you guys are throwing in this Charlie thing. Also, you have a seven-year-old named Charlie and he doesn't have a nickname yet. I mean, you could obviously, I mean, there's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That kind of goes with the filthy and the sloppy, you know. Um, Charlie Sheen. I don't know if that is something. What about char, charred steak? Wouldn't you love to call your seven-year-old charred steak? <laughs> um, Charlie's their own. I understand that nicknames are supposed to be shorter, but for some reason I'm just thinking of longer things. Charlie XCX. Char, um, Charmander from Pokemon. Charmander. Um, ch ch let's do one more. Let's do one more before I go. Um, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Um, those are, those are my recommendations for you guys for your nickname problems. I really hope you figure this out. Hope you're quarantining well. And, uh, yeah, happy Easter. Bye, guys.